So how is the key influencer visual different from the decomposition tree? The decomposition tree is another AI slash ML visual that's available natively within Power BI. And it's one of my favorite visuals to really summarize the data succinctly. <clears throat> but what is the difference between them? So let's take a look at it. So I have the same, uh, I'm working with the same data set uh, as the previous examples that I've shown in my videos. And let's click on the decomposition tree, which is right over here. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag and drop the same fields that I'm using uh, in the key influencer visual. So I am interested in, if you see, it shows pretty much the same uh, type of uh, fields over here. So we have analyze and explain by. So I'm going to, we are looking at the sales data. So let's go to sales. And then I am going to uh, drag and drop in explain by the same visuals that or rather same columns that we are working with in the key influencer visual. So the product category, product container, um, product subcategory, uh, let's say region, shipping mode, and then state or uh, province. And the first thing we see is sales. Uh, it sh it's showing us a really large number. What we are interested is the average sales so let's go here and then click on apply average so 949 950 dollars or units um, in this case then i'm going to click on this plus sign here and how you want to split your data and i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to say click on i want to maximize this i want i want to see what makes it higher so when I click on high value, it's showing me product is uh, product subcategory uh, is copier and fax. It will lead to higher uh, sales. So what is the difference between this and this? So take a look at the number first, uh, 6,747. So it correctly identifies product subcategories, copier and fax, product subcategories, copier and fax. So those two match, but this is 5,860, whereas 6,747. So the difference between these two is this is the effect controlling for all the other factors, whereas this is only taking the aggregation into account. If I go to the right pane and then hover over it, you'll see product subcategory, copier and fax, and the average sales is 6,747, which matches this 6,747. So what the, the key influencer visual is doing is it's showing us the effect and the distribution, whereas the decomposition tree, it's splitting the data and identifying different patterns within the data that based on the criteria that you select, whether you want to make it higher or lower, and then it will automatically find the best split uh, for you. So um, I'll show you a quick example. So let me get rid of this. Um, notice here I have customer segment up at the top. Um, and when I click on, keep an eye on this. When I click on this and go to high, move uh, look at the order in which the uh, the columns shuffle in the explain by whale let me click on it and you will see the product subcategory jumped up uh, high at the top um, so what this is doing is it's looking at the average effect um, considering all the um, all the categories within that particular column so if i keep splitting it's going to give me high value so next it says state or province, which is not what we see here. So what we see on the left side in the key influencer visual is that we have product subcategory is the number one factor, followed by shipping mode is delivery truck. So ship mode is the next factor. And after that is the product container. Whereas on the right hand side in the decomposition tree, we see product subcategories first, state or province is second, and then if I want to look at the next, it will be customer segment. So the two are um, different and they give you different um, 
uh, they give you different distributions of the data they give you different sides of the data and which are very complementary um, to you so this is based on the average effect it has on the summarization not necessarily based on the effect it has controlling for all the other uh, factors that we have another interesting thing is if i go back to this top segments and we have this top segment um, 3000 uh, units. So what this is telling us is um, it looked at all the data on an average. We have 950. The average is 950, which is what we see here, 949.7, 949.7. But it found a segment of the data that has much higher, uh, much higher average uh, compared to the uh, compared to the rest of the data, which we do not actually get here. If I keep um, if I let me get rid of this, this, and this average sales, if I split by the product container and then the jumbo drum, which is what we see here, and then I further split by the delivery mode or the shipping mode, I, I get this. So you have 3,030. You have 3030 here, which is same as the 3030 here. So these two match. But could you get that same, could you identify the same pattern within your data? Meaning, could you find out using key influencer or using decomposition tree, what segment of the data um, has much higher average compared to the rest of the data? You cannot. And this is where the key influencer visual uh, uh, helps you uh, if you use when you use the top segments that it will find identify uh, different patterns within your data which otherwise would be really really hard uh, to find unless you um, spend a lot of time analyzing your data so hope that clears the difference between the key influencer visual and the decomposition tree